to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast. Today is an interesting podcast because what you'll hear is me amped up on two cups of coffee, and it goes on throughout the conversation. I'm not normally a coffee drinker. I'm not even normally a caffeine intaker. I know, it's a sin, and I do apologize for my jitteriness. Uh, With that said, this particular script is supporting the lender uh, throughout the process of the transaction. So as you go through the transaction, the lender is requesting documentation, and we just want to make sure that we go back to our clients and say, hey, when the lender asks you for information, provide that to them. So I hope you enjoy this episode. It was a lot of fun. And I promise you, I'm amped down now. So let's get into this. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out. But we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound. And I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing. And I think it'll work out. All right. I'm going to start this right now. (laughs) I apologize for... Those who showed up to the book club this morning at 7.45 because I was not on there. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Very rarely do I ever miss anything. And I'm just going to come out and be completely transparent, which is communication in this book, right? (laughs) Here's the deal. I woke up. I went for my normal walk. I woke up 5.30, did my thing in the morning, went for a walk. Right. I get all my alerts. Hey, book club starts at 745. I'm totally ramped up. I'm prepared. I got all this type of stuff. So I go for my walk. I'm expected to be back by right around seven o'clock in the morning. I get this text from my neighbor. He says, hey, come by real quick. I want to show you something. I'm like, all right, cool. So I go by and he he um, he. Well, I did something that I normally don't do, which is drink coffee. I drink tea. I'm mostly a tea drinker. But when I do drink coffee, I drink it black and that's it. I had two whole cups of this thing. And I guess I was just so amped up in communicating with him that the next thing I did is looked at my phone and it was eight o'clock. I was like, what the heck? So I feel really bad. And I know Emily was one of the people that showed up. For sure. And I think there was another and I think there was another uh person or two that showed up. So anyways, bottom line is I just missed it and I failed on that. So I apologize. It's all right, Darren. Yeah, it is what it is. It's all right. It is what it is, but I wanted to come clean. You know, I you know, I didn't get pulled over on the side of the road. My dog didn't eat my homework. (laughs) I just flat out my I had full intentions on being there. I just I just I, I just I I didn't make it. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. But that's part of communication, right? I mean, one of the things in this first chapter, which we're not going to jump into right now, is being transparent and um it's all about that law of credibility. So that's 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 part of the what I wanted to bring to the table today is that I uh, I didn't oversleep. I just flat out ignored my everything. And anyways, I'm enjoying my tea now. You're still I don't ever up have. on coffee. I can tell. I'll tell you right now. I I do. I don't ever drink two cups of coffee in a row. But I see the difference. Is there? 
<laughs> yeah, I uh, yeah, I, I very rarely ever do that, and I'm not a coffee drinker. So, um, and when I when I drink tea, it's always a decaf tea too. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty amped up right now. So, so let's, let's jump into jump. the script for today. Timely response for a smooth transaction. Uh, okay, let's see. This script focuses on setting expectations with a home buyer regarding the importance of timely responses to the lender's request to ensure a smooth transaction and quick move in. So requirements are strong communication skills, attention to detail, knowledge of the mortgage process and timeliness, and the ability to manage deadlines effectively. The intention is to emphasize the importance of prompt communication and collaboration between you and the home buyer to meet the lender's request and ensure a successful and timely close. So basically we're we're telling our clients look when the lend, when the lender asks for information let's let's keep on providing them with the information don't don't be dropping the ball here and there because occasionally you're going to hear your lenders uh, you know, saying, Hey, I'm still waiting on so-and-so to get me the paperwork. Uh, I'm still waiting on this person to get me their updated W-2s or, you know, if it's a business then they're waiting for their business financials too. So that goes on quite a bit and we need to communicate with our clients that, Hey, this is, this is what's up. So who did I break out with yesterday? Jamon. Uh, Jamon. Yeah. Uh, Debbie too, right? Yeah. No. Debbie. Oh yeah. Darren, it's not rocket science here. There's only three of us here, four of us. <laughs> no, no, no. It's what, the caffeine, what I, Luna. It is a caffeine. It is literally. So, you can't make decisions. <laughs> no, what I'm what I'm thinking is is because Debbie and Emily are with each other a lot. Um and I'm trying to see how I can record Luda. And if I go Luda and Emily, then that leaves Debbie and Jamon again. Why don't if we do I the go... rotation? It's not that big of a script. So this way we could see how everybody works. I mean, I can do that, except we have five people. And we could try it out. Let's see it. We we were, we started a little early. So Luda, since you brought that up, let's have you start. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Call her uh, hair and all. Okay. <laughs> um. Good afternoon, Jamon. I hope you're doing well. I want to touch base with you, touch base with you today to discuss an important aspect of our home buying process: timely response to the lender's request. Well, hey, Luda. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's crucial for us to maintain open lines of communication and promptly address any documentations or information required by the lender. By ensuring we submit all the necessary paperwork on time, we increase our chances of closing the the transaction as scheduled allowing you to, allowing you to move into your new home quickly delays in providing the requested documents can lead to setbacks and closing process which we want to avoid awesome so that means we're getting closer then right well we just started so we haven't submitted okay. anything yet so this is just a beginning um stage Okay, Communic I, I believe that communication But, is yes, Jamon, uh, we are getting closer. The moment you submit those documents. It's on. All okay. Right. The lender may request for updated various documents, such as income verification, bank statements, tax returns, and other financial information. They may also ask for additional documentation throughout the process. It is important that you promptly provide these documents to the lender without any delays. I agree. Perfect. The number of requests can vary demanding on the lender and specific requirements of your loan. However, it's essential to be prepared for requests with the, throughout the entire process, from the time the contract is accepted until the closing. To ensure a smooth experience, it's vital that we work together closely, keeping the lines of communication open and responding promptly to any requests that come our way. Ah, I agree with that. Perfect. One more thing to know is that not just about responding to lenders' requests quickly, it's equally important to provide accurate and complete information. Double checking your documents before submitting them will help avoid any unnecessary back and forth with the lender. I'll also be here to guide you and address any concerns you may have along the way. Okay, I agree with that. I, I, I think we should double check the documents. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Already, uh, Jamon. Um, 
We'll talk soon. Hope you have a great day. All right, Luda. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. All right, Jamon. Let's have you talk to let's have you talk to Debbie. <laughs> I'm so amped up right no now. No more coffee for you, Darren. I'm so sorry. I'm so I'm like fidgeting. I'm like fidgeting. I mean, I'm sitting here trying to put my little thing on here. I'm shaking and everything. I apologize. I really am. You guys, you guys know me. I am not like sorry. Go ahead, Jamon. I'm just rambling. Okay. All right, Debbie. Uh, good afternoon, Debbie. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to touch bases with you today and just discuss an important aspect of our home buying process, uh, timely responses to the lender's requests. Okay. Right. Okay, so now, Debbie, what I wanted to let you know is very crucial for us to maintain open lines of communication and to promptly address any documentation or information required by the lender. Now, by ensuring that we, we submit all the necessary paperwork on time, what we do here is we increase our chances of closing the transactions as scheduled. That'll allow you to move into your new home quickly. Delays in providing the requested documents can lead to setbacks in the closing process, which we do want to avoid. Well, I, I agree with that. Do you know how far back they go on the documents I'm going to need? Because I have stuff filed away and... Well, let me go. Let me let me let me check with that. Let me let me find out exactly. Let me get back to you with that answer. Just yeah, that sure. way I could get a head start. Okay, no problem. That, that I got that wrote down. That'll be one of the things I uh, I'll call you back later on today and let you know. Okay. And uh, because because what happens is the lender may request for updated various documents such as income verification, bank statements, tax returns, and other financial information. They might also ask uh, for additional, additional, additional documentation throughout the whole process. Now, it's important that you promptly provide these documents to the lender without any delays. You in agreement with that? I'll do my best. <laughs> I understand we have that paperwork stored away so many places. Um, well, so the number of requests can vary depending on the lender and the specific requirements of your loan. However, it's essential to be prepared for requests throughout the entire process, from the time the contract is accepted until the closing. To ensure a smooth experience, it's vital that we work together closely, keeping the lines of communication open and responding properly to any requests that come our way. Uh, my, I can see that. Okay. Well, one more thing that I want to add, Debbie, is that to know is that it's not just about responding to the lender's request quickly. It's equally important to provide accurate and complete information, double checking the documents before submitting them. That'll help avoid all the necessary back and forth with the lender. Now, I'll also be here to guide you and address any concerns you may have along the way. Okay, okay. that sounds, right. I'll double check. Awesome. Okay, then well, thank you. And you have a good day, okay? Have a great you day. You too. <laughs> all right all right cool debbie talk okay. to uh emily good morning emily hi hi well i hope everything's going good for you and that you've had your couple of cups of coffee um i just want to touch base with you to discuss um one of the most important aspects of your home buying process and that is timely responses to lender requests. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, well, so it's really important for us to maintain open lines of communication and promptly address any documentation or information required by the lending. Um, by ensuring this, um, we can really uh, increase our chances of closing the transaction as scheduled and allowing us to you to move into your home quicker and delays in pro providing the lender the documents they want can cause setbacks uh, to the closing process and delay your move in time. Okay, well, yeah, I agree that communication is super important. Okay, 
Well, um, and just so you know, the lender might request for updated various documents all the way to the end of close. Um, they usually do a, a, a current income verification right before the close to make sure you haven't quit your job or. Right. Yeah. He wow. told me that. Oh, good. Well, and then bank statements, tax returns, and other financial information. So they might, you know, ask for additional documentation throughout the whole process too. Um, so make sure that we get those documents um, to the lender without any delays. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I'm, I'm pretty responsive, I think, so far. So. Okay. No, yes. And I agree with that. Um, the number of requests can vary depending on the lender and the specific requirements of your loan. Uh, it's essential to be prepared for requests throughout this entire process. And from the time the contract is accepted until closing. To ensure a smooth experience, it's vital that we work together closely along with the lender and keep the lines of communication open. Okay. Okay. And then just one last thing to note is that uh, it's not just about responding to the lender's request quickly. It's equally important to provide accurate and complete information. Double checking your documents before submitting them will also help to avoid any unnecessary back and forth with the lenders. I'll also be here to guide you and address any concerns you might have along the way. All right. Yep. I will double check everything I send. Sounds great. Okay. Well then perfect then. And you have a great day. You too, Debbie. Thank you. Okay. All right, Emily. Back to Luda. Okay. Unless okay. She's... Hey, Luda. How you doing? Hey, Emily. I'm doing great. What's new? Uh, you know, I'm thinking about buying this yacht. What's new with you? Well, I just wanted to um, kind of catch up with you. I know um, you identified the lender you want to work with. I just wanted to touch base with you today to discuss um, something that's pretty important about the home buying process, and that's a timely response to the lender's request, okay? Okay. It's crucial for us to maintain open lines of communication and promptly address any documentation or information required by the lender. By ensuring we submit all the necessary paperwork on time, we increase our chances of closing the transaction as scheduled. Okay, and this allows you to move into your new home quickly. Got it. So I shouldn't be purchasing anything right now. Probably not. You might want to wait until after we close. Delays in providing the um, requested documents can lead to setbacks in, close, in the closing process, which we want to avoid. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Okay. So the lender might request for updated various documents, such as income verification, bank statements, tax returns, and other financial information. They might also ask for additional documentation throughout the process. It's important that you promptly provide these documents to the lender without any delays. Okay? Okay. No problem. Is that something you, you can help me with or something I have to do myself? Well, you only you would have access to your own um, financial documents and then you'd upload them into the portal that the lender provides you. So everything's secure. Would you um, be able if I just give you the documents, would you be able to do it? Because I'm not very computer savvy. What you can do is you can arrange a meeting with the lender. And I know that Chuck is really good. He'll even come and pick them up for you. Perfect. Um, the number of requests can vary. So you might want to get everything together. As far as the list that he sent you on specific requirements of your loan. So, however, it's essential to be prepared for requests throughout the entire process. So from the time the contract is accepted until the closing. So to ensure a smooth experience, it's vital that we work together closely and keeping the lines of communication open and responding promptly to any requests that come our way. Okay. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. And we're almost there. Um, so one more thing to note is that it's not just about responding to the lender's request quickly. It's equally important to provide accurate and complete information. Make sure you double check everything that you're, you know, providing to him um, before submitting 
before submitting it. And this will help avoid any unnecessary back and forth with the lender. Um, I'll also be here to guide you and address any concerns you may have along the way. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Emily. Okay. Perfect. Well, you have a great day, Luda, and we'll talk tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good test, Luda. We don't want to take the paperwork from people. Um, and good response, Emily. Got a quick question for everyone. What is the goal of this script? To keep things on the timeline. Mm -hmm. And to close when you say you're going to close. It's, and to get the buyer to commit. Honestly, that's the first step is to, to get them pre-approved. They're fighting you on this, meaning that they're not serious about purchasing. Could be, yeah. Mm. That's all right. We're going to do this script one more time, but it's going to be short. Okay. We're going to start back with Luda again. And here, here's what I prefer everyone to do. In one phrase, say what you have to say to your client to inform them what they need to do and what's going to happen so that the result you get is an agreement. Okay. Got it. One phrase. One phrase. Because this is a short, this is a, this is really a, just a short, informative conversation. It doesn't have to be long and drawn out about this. So you're informing your client whenever you're ready, Luda. Okay. Um, <laughs> take, the, take the towel off your head. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> make sure you, make sure you contact Tyler and submit those requested documents so we can get you pre-approved to purchase your home. There you go. Uh -huh. Emily, talk to Jamon. Hi, Jamon. It's hey. super important that you get all your financial documents together and send them to the lender by the end of today so we can get you pre-approved. Got it. Jamon, talk to Debbie. De Debbie, it's highly important that we get those documents together and get them submitted so that we can go ahead and get you pre-approved and get you into that new house today. Oh, boy. I'll try. I've got to go through several boxes. All right. Debbie, talk okay. to Emily. Hey, Emily, it's Debbie. Um, I just want to let you know that because of our um, tight timeline, I need to make sure you get all the documents that have been requested back to Chuck today. Um, and if you could please uh, let me know when that's happened. Okie dokie. Okay. There you go. There's the short script or there's the short version of that script in your own words. Off the fly, you just had that conversation with people. And you're going to also document it and send them send it to them in an email. Hey, this is the thing that we need to do. I do like the long script because as much as Emily I, and I are very straightforward and direct to the point, there are some clients out there that do need that breakdowns like you need to do this, you need to do that. So, I mean, this, yeah, this is, this is a different way. And sometimes slowing down and going through this, it does build that rela relationship and that rapport. That's right. Not all clients are the same. Some want to, some need more handholding. Some me need more information. Some are just quick to the point. Tell me what I need to do and done. And you're absolutely right. So it just depends on who you're talking to and knowing your client. And the only way that we're going to get to know our client is to build that relationship and that rapport with them. Absolutely. I think this was awesome. It, what, sorry, go ahead. I just said I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Darren, you got to start doing jumping jacks. I, you know, I need to really water down here because I am so jittery. I, I, yeah, we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, instead of a walk, go on a run. <laughs> you know, aren't you aren't you building an office or something? Go start building. Go up and start working. <laughs> the, office is, <laughs> the office is built. The the it's the ADU that's going up. Go build the <laughs> ADU. Go do it. You got this, Darren. <laughs> I know. We got it. We got it. I gotta go dig some holes. Anyway, look. You got, I, I know I'm amped up, but you guys, this was an awesome. This was awesome. It was very quick. It was very succinct, a very informative. It is a conversation that we have to have with the clients 
Um, and I also want to say it's not just at the beginning, it's throughout the whole process too. constant reminder. Hey, don't be buying big new, uh, big new cars or big new RVs and things like that, or big purchases on a credit card. Um, you know, another conversation because the, and the lender simultaneously, you're backing up the lender, you're supporting the lender because the lender is telling them the, this information too. And mm -hmm. it's like, Hey, when the lender asks you for this stuff, Hopefully. you know, and then they're doing yeah hopefully right and then you know the lender you know typically will ask at the beginning and at the end right for here's i need all your w2s your taxes and things like that at the beginning right and then right before it closes escrow they want to double check that you didn't go off and put yourself in a position that you cannot afford this house anymore so they're going to ask for it twice so you'll have to continuously remind them as well as the lender uh, but anytime you can push these financial questions and things like that off to the lender, it's best to do that because they are the lender and they're the expert in that particular field. Just like what Luda tested Emily on. Hey, I'm not, you know, I'm not computer savvy. Will you come and do it for me? You know, I'll tell, I'll talk to Chuck and he'll arrange for it to have it, you know, have it uh, picked up for you. Quick, quick question. Yeah. As, as far as the question that Debbie asked me, is, uh, are the lenders different as far as how far they go back or all of them pretty much the same? Well, each lender has their own requirements. You know, right. typically in my own experience, personally, um, whether you're helping a client or if I'm buying a property, whether it's personal or investment, they're usually going to ask you for your most current, like within the last month. Um, and then they check it just before you close escrow. Nobody is yeah. really, I mean, except for taxes. You know, um, taxes are obviously one the 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 either depending on the time of the year, either the current season or the or the previous year. Uh, so that's yeah, the only usually thing. the last two uh, tax mm -hmm. returns. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. that's pretty standard. All right, and so and sorry. I know that um, well, not in the place that I bought last year, but a couple of houses ago, um, you know, I and I think I did this in one of the scripts. I said, well, should I close down um, credit cards with um, zero balances? Uh, so it looks like, you know, I couldn't use them. And they said, no, 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 don't do that. But what you can do is say you have, you know, oh, yeah. um, on each credit card, say a $20,000 limit to lower the limit. And that won't flag. Um, so like, instead of me being able to charge, you know, a hundred thousand dollars in credit cards, it would show, I would only be able to do say 50,000 if I went on a binge, <laughs> or something. but, um, Hey, you don't want anything that's going to flag. Right. So. And if your clients do have to make a big purchase, tell them, talk to the lender and let them know what you want to do and how is that going to affect the loan? and let the lender help them through that purchase scenario if they need to be, if they need to make a purchase and that's why it is important to have a couple of lenders that you work with and can build a relationship with that way you get to know them they get to know you and the more longer you work with them the more that you're going to get to know how they work and and answer certain things you know to a point to a point right um, so I say have a couple in your back pocket. You always want to re refer at least, you know, two to three people, and then also tell the client you're welcome to work with whoever you want to work with, right. because we don't want to lock them into any particular lender. Um, and that, that has to do more with liability reasons. Last thing I mm -hmm. want to mention before we wrap it up here, I am teaching Ignite today and oh. I think that's at 11 o'clock. So I, I better leave now if I want to make it on time. Um, you walking kidding. there? <laughs> well, apparently no, I he's need running to run. Now. Yeah, I'm running now. So. <laughs> Jamon's going to be I'm there. Doing. Right, Jamon? Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully I'm amped down. Then, so. <laughs> He'll be sleeping, Jamon. He'll be crashing. You know, I'm totally going to crash. I'm totally going to crash, right? You know this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you guys, this is awesome. I appreciate you dealing with me and my uh, coffee hype here. So let's um, let's wrap this up. Good job today. Honestly, I mean that. You guys did an amazing job. So You, you guys have a great weekend. 
Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 All right. So that's the script. I hope that you found it useful. Just head over to realestatescriptspractice.com for more resources and downloads. This podcast is for the purpose of education only, and it does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, mentor, CPA, or attorney. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall, California DRE number 01853445.